guys, my name is Noelle. Thank you for clicking on my video. Today I wanted to do a little day in the life artist video to kind of invite you in my world um, on a typical Monday. I always like to have my mornings nice and slow and get all the rest I need and the time I need in the morning to just kind of wake up and get situated because I found that if I don't do that, I just feel a little bit hectic. So um, this is my art room today. Um, I'm gonna first start off with getting the room a bit cleaned up to have a nice clean slate for the week. And I'm going to invite you along on today's work day. Um, feel free to um, click the like button and subscribe if you think you may enjoy my videos. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. start my office work for the day. I generally like to follow up with customers, just get back with um, things that I need to catch up on over the weekend. I have my planner for the year and I check, I like to check my um, week, see if there's, see what's on the calendar last week of November. There's a verse of the day. Today's verse of the day is, the Lord has told you what is good, and this is what he requires of you, to do what is right, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with God, which is Micah 6, 8, the New Living Translation. I see that today, this week is another pretty open week, which um, pros and cons to that, I like to catch up on things, but I also have to be a little bit more organized. So um, I'm gonna, um, have my planner stuff and then today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I wanted to um, make a sheet, a checklist sheet for during the week, things I want to do each day, um, in particular advertisement and I think it's just good to be consistent because consistency is the key when it comes to um, any small business. simple checklist. I decided to keep it simple because um, I don't know about you guys but when it's too many things on a list that you like it's kind of hard to achieve it can get discouraging but if it's achievable it's like encouraging and I wanted to start somewhere and then once I get used to this I can always bump it up a little bit or adjust it as needed. I just think it's nice to kind of like okay if I know it's going to be coming why don't I just make a sheet and then I can kind of plan ahead mentally rather than always like last minute spontaneous like oh I gotta do that now um but if I anticipate okay this is next and you know looking ahead that's one thing I struggle with sometimes is like being a few steps ahead of like for planning and then the things throughout the week so like things that would be good to do like um certain you know on my Etsy shop putting listings up um posting on Instagram and posting video on YouTube and then obviously I'm connecting with customers as a daily thing. And yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at. And next I'm gonna actually um, go ahead and try to connect with some customers. And one of the customers is interested in one of my paintings that I haven't yet posted on Etsy. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that listing. Um, it's for that those three paintings up above um, that cave in the middle, the little um, long ones. All right, so now I am going to take pictures of this painting so I can put it on Etsy and also for recording purposes. So I always like to have natural light that is not direct light, so shadowed natural light. I want to get white a white background here. All right, I have this piece of cardstock. Direct 
lights and have my phone. My iPhone takes good pictures. High resolution and high size. So that if I wanted to make prints, they're good. It's actually better than the DSL. So this is like an example. So it needs to be perfectly lined up, um, not crooked like like this. Um, like this would be a bad image to use because notice how it's all not straight on. And then I do some closer up pictures. I always like to include my signature as well. So I'm going to put those on my computer and start uploading for the Etsy listing. Yeah, here I have the virtual frame and the listing. I'm just going to do a screenshot. I had to kind of figure out that virtual frame thing. I always saw people doing it and like, how do you do that? And so I figured it out. And then I'm going to upload the other images and put the description in and stuff. I just also wanted to mention that one thing that I like to do to keep my schedule on track um, during just a normal work day is I put notifications in my phone to remind me to um, do certain basic things because um, a lot of times I get so wrapped up in like the work and like I don't want to stop that I forget to like go and eat or um, just like keeping on track with even like the work stuff like there's a certain time I like to start trying to paint but or like winding down for the day like I'm giving myself boundaries from working at home is really helpful and I just thought I would share that with you okay so I was getting a little bit tired from all the office work and I thought I would switch gears a little bit and do some household chores so today I have a heaping pile of dishes so I'm gonna work on that and just kind of give my brain a break also do you like how I painted my kitchen I did that this past week nice cream color wanted to share this is the painting that I had done in the kitchen and what I'm trying to decide on is what color to paint this hallway I'm debating over doing a gray color or carrying this color kitty mm -hmm. carrying this color of the kitchen into the hallway and having a wrap around so that's what I'm debating on how does that sound chibi finished this painting um, a couple weeks ago. Now I would like to take the final picture of me with the painting and I like doing the pictures of me with the paintings because it shows how large they are and yeah I think it's just kind of nice a nice thing to do. I have ventured to my closet and I'm gonna try to find something to wear that can complement this painting. I like to try to yeah, just kind of keep it neutral. So I'm gonna look around and see what I come up with. All right, I got um, the outfit I'm gonna wear for the picture. Um, just super comfy and casual and light monotoned. So I think it'll go good with that. So I'm gonna um, bring this painting over and try to get that shot. All right, so this wall in my art room is where I get my pictures for with my paintings, complete the paintings. And I have to really, improvise with the limited space I have. I just go ahead and take the art off the wall carefully and then kind of prep the space for that picture. And then I have this curtain off my closet that I pull over. Just kind of tack it on, hoping it doesn't look tacky. So I have the tripod set up, um, my wall already painting, and my husband coming over to take the picture. Three, two, one. Okay. 
okay, perfect. Um, I got those pictures and I'm gonna put them on my computer and then edit them up. I just wanted to show a little um, before and after of the picture I chose. The main thing I try to focus on is making the background like a true white and so that it can look good on um, Instagram. And then also just making sure the painting stays true to its colors. Um, I also obviously doctored out um, this curtain. But yeah, I'm really happy with um, the after. All right, once again, my room is a disaster. So I'm gonna try to pick up and get it all situated so I can switch gears and actually start painting for today. Yeah, I'm gonna get this wall back to normal, pick up the brushes that fell. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. So I'll do a little time lapse of picking up my room again. I also thought I should take a second to <laughs> share my sweet little sweetie. When I walk by, she tries to get me. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing? She got dinner and she's all happy. Yeah. So I'm going to try to work amongst the claws. <laughs> good to go with um, picking up and I think I actually need to eat lunch so it's pretty late in the day that's why I put my little alarms on to remind myself to stop and eat okay I'm just gonna yeah go take another break and um, have lunch and then I'll um, meet back with you afterward okay I'm back in my art room I am going to finally Get ready to paint. I just finished my painting session. Um, this is a picture of my childhood home in California. Um, my parents built it when I was about eight years old, uh, maybe 10, and I lived there until I was 18. When I think of like California, I think of like this is like my home, but they have sold it since then, so it's more like just in my memories. But yeah, I had a wonderful childhood. Roaming in the fields, there was like unlimited acres of land that we would explore and yeah I had a good painting session I wanted to talk on the phone with someone but that didn't work out so I was able to just listen to some YouTube videos and um, some podcasts I painted for about two and a half hours really, I thought it was gonna be like an easier house to, to paint but it was actually kind of like a little bit challenging but um, I was a little unsure about the rainbow thing but I you know I'm just gonna let it let it sit and be okay be fine with that but yeah from here on out I am a little tired so I think I'm going to take a little break and um, after that I still need to do my posts on a couple different Facebook pages that I'm only able to post on Mondays so I'm going to think about that and after that I should be done but yeah okay all right I'm um I made my post for today on the two pages I'm able to I normally post like recent paintings I've done so it was convenient that I had this one up all ready to share and this one that I recently made and this one I made last week so yeah yeah I'm happy I can be done for the day it's been a long day got a lot of things done and um, I try to finish all of my working by 8 o'clock so today I've done that 
and I am ready to have dinner and rest and kick back. Um, sometimes I work on my YouTube videos um, while I'm winding down, which I may or may not do that today because it has been a big day. But yeah, other than that, um, I am so happy you all joined me. I hope you enjoyed and found this video um, yeah, useful in some way, perhaps. And please don't forget to subscribe and like my videos if you, if you enjoyed. And yeah, that's basically it. Thank you so much again. Hope you have a good whatever time of day it is. Okay, bye-bye.